Okay, this pisses me off. This is my first time making a YouTube video. I don't know what the fuck to say. Uh, and I'm too lazy to do all the video editing and all that shit because it's too much effort. What should I talk about? Okay. Okay. Okay, this video, this this guy, he's showing you how to make a mine hut um, server using mods from version 1.17.1. Right? Well, that doesn't actually work. Mine hut doesn't support any other version that is... Okay, let me try to say that again. Okay. Minehut doesn't support any other version of mods upset except fuck <laughs> uh, let me let me just you know what let me just keep it on. okay minehut does not support any other version of mods okay minehut only supports sponge forge 1.12.2 there are no other versions that work and this tutorial is very misleading because it doesn't actually work the the reason okay like i followed all the steps and i i came to the conclusion that he's he's just deceiving you guys because uh, at the end, he ends his video saying, oh, look, it works, right? It says right here, like, oh, it works. Look, it's, you can see on the right, the mod's installed, right? Um, it shows the GIE mod, which only shows you the crafting recipe, right? But it doesn't actually let you place blocks. So what's the point of this whole tutorial? It doesn't freaking work. The point is that he deceived you. To thinking that you can have a mine hut server that's not sponge forge he, he just wanted views and he just wanted the attention it's just so annoying because this this tutorial is stupid yeah so the gie mod is basically it just shows you the recipe but it doesn't actually let you place the blocks as i could i'll show you in this video um Look, I, I did all the steps he did, right? I, I I have my own mod, which is the car mod, right? It's 1.17.1. I'm trying to place the blocks. You can't place it. He didn't show you that in the video because he knows it doesn't work. Because the GIE mod is just showing you. The GIE mod is just showing you um, that you can see recipes. But the, the blocks, you can't place them. So... This this video is stupid and it's misleading and is very frustrating. Uh, yeah, and the reason why the Sponge Forge works um, is because okay, I, I was looking through the internet and uh, the, I was looking through Google, and then this guy says, this guy explains it well. The reason why you can't place modded blocks is because your server isn't modded. You've placed the mods where a modded server could find them, but that's server modding step two. You never did server modding step number one. Install Forge. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Well, basically, in layman's terms, he's saying um, this analogy right here. Look, client, I'm going to place a block now. Server, okay, hit me with it. Client, there's, there's my block. Basically, the... Uh, he's saying that the client and the server isn't interacting with each other because of these three reasons, he says. And the, the one that I think is the reason why the um, you can't place blocks is because of number three, which is the config files to the server. The uh, You need to have a configuration, a certain configuration for it to work. And I think this is true because, as you can see in my image, um, it shows that when you do Sponge Forge, when you do Sponge Forge, um, it actually 
um, downloads a file called sponge in the config directory. And also in the mods, it has a jar file named spongeforge 1.12. Point two. So as you can see, I think the reason why Minehut Minehut can't do any other versions is because they don't have the config files that they do for you for SpongeForge, but they don't do it for any other version. So yeah, Minehut doesn't support any other version except SpongeForge 1.12.2, and then this tutorial is fucking retarded because they're just doing it for views and they're confusing a lot of people. He, he only used GIE mod, which only shows you the recipe, but you can't place any fucking blocks, so what's the point? It's such a waste of time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he, he, he didn't lie to you. The mods are available. Like, it, it's there, the GIE mod. But he deceived you because it doesn't actually work it partially works yeah you can see the mod itself as you can see in the video that i showed you but it, you can't place the fucking block so what's the point anyways uh the thing that actually works is go to eternos they actually teach you how to do everything and yeah eternos uh, eternos a t e r n o s uh just search it up that actually works. You could actually have mods that are from 1.19 or any version. That actually works. And then an another thing that I've come across, like an issue with um, modding or whatever, is that uh, I get exit code um, one. Which basically, that means that you you need a you, um, you have you need a file to also download. Let, let, let's say. You have the uh, Minecraft Reborn uh, mod, Minecraft was it? Minecraft comes alive mod, where basically the villagers like are different. Yeah, I got an exit code one because I didn't realize that it has a dependency file. So that's what it means when it has exit code one. You're missing a dependency file, which I found out in Eternos because they tell you everything that you need, unlike Minehut. Okay. So, yeah. This this tutorial that I found online made me, like, it took me hours. And it, I finally understand why. Because this stupid person was deceiving you into thinking you could actually do it just so he could get views. And it's so fucking annoying. All right. Now I told you the truth. I'm too lazy to fucking edit and all that shit. Hopefully you could figure this out yourself because I'm too lazy and I I'm not really good at editing videos. Okay, good 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 